Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again, or not, if it's your first time here. Hello. Um, just thought I'd wrap up the year with one final video. Some thoughts on the year gone past 2018's drawing to a close. A few people have asked me about this guy and I've started to get interested in keeping their own freshwater puffers, so I thought we could take a little bit of a look at the type of foods that he eats now, as well as the foods that he ate when I first got them and what I'm hoping to move him on to as well. Because who doesn't love a feeding video when you need an idea for a final video of the year? Let's have a look at what old pufferfish here will actually eat these days. So I guess the first thing we should talk about and the more eagle-eyed amongst you will spot that there are some guppy fry in there. When I moved the Fahaka into this tank there were some guppies that I was using to keep the filter media cycled. He's gobbled them up I'm afraid but one of them was pregnant and had dropped all her fry beforehand and all the fry are still in here and he's not touching them. Now it's now on impossible to catch them so their fate is very much in the Fahaka's hands as to whether they are a living, breathing, growing snack and waiting or whether they will be friends when they grow up. He's not showing really any interest in them at the moment and they are quite small but he obviously was quite happy to eat their parents. Um, he will eat shrimp at that size as well so I'm not quite sure why he's ignoring them. So this is an, anom an anomaly and a bit of a test. We'll see if he manages to let them grow up or if he's just waiting for them to get nice and plump and then he will snack on them. In terms of other food, when we first got him he would only take live food, snails and feeder fish. But now I've managed to get him onto various um, other feeds. We'll start off with the one that will hopefully tempt him out. Not that he usually needs much tempting. Uh, which is your old bog standard bloodworms. I've never met a fish that doesn't like bloodworms. So it wasn't the hardest food to get him onto. I don't really like bloodworms that much, I don't think they've got much in the way of nutritional value, but they can get an appetite going. Well as bloodworms, the other old standard is snails. I have quite the collection of ram's horn snails, uh, pond snails, Malaysian trumpet snails, and he happily works his way through all of them. And if you're here, you get to hear quite the crack when that happens. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming across on the, the camera. So he started with his nail and now he's hoovering up the bloodworms. Another of his favourites, which I've got him onto, is frozen prawn. He gobbles that up, it's quite a good filler for him. I tend to let it defrost for a bit, but I have given them straight frozen before, and he's not batted an eyelid. Then we've got my homemade gel food, which you may have. Oh, as I just drop it. My homemade gel food, which you should hopefully see a link to or a card to in the top corner. Um, he may not eat this now because he's had quite a bit already and it tends to float. Now, if you can't be bothered to watch the other video it's essentially just lots of fish and fish based products all bound together with gelatin. So he quite likes that. As you can see it makes a bit of a mess. It's more of a better feed for my community tanks. And if you can see them, all the tiny baby guppies are making a go at cleaning that up. The black ghost knife as well will also make a good job of cleaning that up. Other foods that he's eaten is small fish like guppies. Um, I try not, I'm trying to keep them off the live food altogether. Um, I've tried him on mealworms, doesn't seem to be interested in them. I've tried him on 
um, dried bloodworm alternatives, the Hikari um, Vibra Bites, and he loves them. Um, so his staple diet is snails. He gets the Hikari uh, Vibra Bites fairly regularly as well, and then the prawns and the, uh, the gel food once or twice a week. And that seems to be making him grow at a fairly good rate. He doesn't seem to show any interest in his larger tank mate, so he's obviously in there with a black ghost knife fish. The two of them seem to get on quite well, they will feed together and not attack each other. Um, obviously he has eaten some guppies in here, unless they're really good at hiding, I just haven't seen them in a week. Um, but I think he would be okay with larger fish. So that might be a future um, experiment to see how he gets on with a few larger fish. Not necessarily larger as in kind of Oscars and things like that, but maybe just things that are more than one or two bites that he, he would just leave alone. He looks like a big fat lazy lump, but he can be quite fast when he wants to be. Um, so it's not necessarily speed that makes the difference for the other fish, it's just whether or not they look like a meal, I think. So maybe things like rainbow fish, that sort of thing, might get away with. Um, that might be worth an experiment in the future. So if you're interested in keeping one of these fish, or you keep one already, maybe you'd like to leave me some tips down below in the comments, or ask me some questions and I'll let you know. Um, I just think these are one of the most fascinating fish that I've, I've ever kept. As much as I love my discus, um, the personality of this fish, and even the pea puffers that I've started keeping recently, um, they're just something a little bit different, but so rewarding as well. Um, so, if we look back at the goals that I'd set myself in 2018, I guess when I first uh, crossed over into 2018, we had a thousand subscribers. We've grown to nearly five thousand, about four and a half thousand subscribers now. So, if you are one of the people who's joined this year, thank you. Hello, welcome. I hope you stick around for a bit longer. Um, got some new ideas for the coming years. Um, and if you're one of the original few, um, I'm amazed that you've still stuck with it. <laughs> We've had a few new fish, we've had a few floods, we've had a few dramas. We made 85 videos this year, almost a million minutes of watch time. I think a quarter of a million of you clicked that view button. Um, these numbers were just ridiculous to me. I know they're nothing compared to some of the bigger YouTubers out there, but the fact that some of you people are watching this stuff uh, it just amazes me. So thank you for that once again. For next year, it's more of the same really. Um, started live streaming this year, which hopefully some of you will check out if you haven't already. I've done a few rubbish giveaways and things like that. Um, we'll be moving into trying to get a more of a schedule going for 2019 and a more regular and predictable upload schedule, um, if you like. So whether that might be one live stream a month because they seem to be hurting the channel or whether it's still sticking with the weekly live streams, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but check out my community page, check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, all these things. Let me know if you've got any ideas or preferences because I do listen to what all my subscribers, uh, feedback that they give me, positive and negative. Always happy to receive it. But I'm going to concentrate more on growing the channel a little bit but it's always been a bit of a vlog, a bit of a... Um, a notebook as to what is going on with my fish keeping hobby and that's what it will remain ultimately. Hopefully some new and interesting fish and like say looking at pond next year that might be the big thing. A redesign of the fish room possibly and um, more of a shift towards plants as I try and continue in my journey to learn more about plants. And this guy possibly becoming my favourite fish moving me off discus onto puffer fish. But who knows, um, we will see what the new year brings. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's contributed, joined in, subscribed, watched, commented. I appreciate every one of them, even the negative ones. Um, this is just a hobby for me, it's not a business, it's not a money-making venture. 
I do have my website if you're interested in buying any dry goods or plants at the moment, not fish yet. And check out aquariumadventures.co.uk if you want to. Um, or check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll put all the links down below. You can check them out as well. And let me know your ideas. What do you like? What do you not like? What do you want to see more of? And just in the vain hope of some product placement, this is one of my Christmas gifts. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, but I am a big fan of Jim Beam, so these are just delicious. If you are one of the many thousands of people who like to send me nasty comments on the video, you can kind of rest assured that I've got the message. You don't like me hating on other videos and you like to display that by hating on me. Which, I don't get it, but I get the message. So we'll stop that and we'll move on to less dramatic things. 2018 saw us going from shooting on a potato, often without the microphone plugged in or switched on, to a proper 4K DSLR, even though I don't shoot in 4K, but uh, proper microphones, proper lights, so you can see and hear most of my videos nowadays. I still have the odd live stream where I forget to turn on a microphone, um, but when I look back at some of the earlier videos where you have to crank your volume up to 11 to even hear what the hell I'm saying sometimes. So hopefully the production's gone up a little bit. I've learned a lot more about things like video editing, um, trying to get ahead of the game with the YouTube algorithm and learn what it is that YouTube wants me to do in order to show it to more and more of you guys. Um, so that will probably carry on next year as well. So that's it for this video and very nearly this year as well. Um, it's been great having you here. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. I hope you keep in touch. If you're an old subscriber, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I hope we'll have some new friends join us in the new year. Have a very Merry Christmas. No, hope you've had a very Merry Christmas. And have a great new year too. And we'll see you in 2019. Bye-bye.